Hey everyone, this is an Amalgia video, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the special islands that you can get when you embark on one of Capen's sea voyages. For those who don't know, Animal Crossing version 2.0 was released yesterday. It's a free update, and it added a lot of new fun things to do in the game, one of which being you can visit new islands that you pay a thousand nook miles in order to go see, but you're limited to once a day, and you access them by talking to Cap'n at the dock. The islands that Cap'n can take you to on one of his expeditions are a lot more diverse than the ones you're used to by using a Nook Miles ticket at the airport. The basic requirements for these new voyages are first that you have Animal Crossing 2.0 installed on your Switch, and the second is that you've used at least one Nook Miles ticket to go on a journey to one of the islands through the airport. The Cap'n Islands are pretty cool. They have a lot of options that weren't available before. Um, you can sail to islands that have unique plants on them that weren't in the game before. You can sail to islands that are in different seasons. Uh, you could sail to islands that might have star showers at night. Um, and there's more that haven't been discovered yet. But this video in particular, if you looked at the title, is about the Springtime Island, which I was fortunate enough to get today. And the other good part is that now you get to enjoy the cap and sea shanties for the rest of this game's existence. It's a little funny, but while he's singing in this cutscene, you can actually push A to clap. Um, it doesn't really do anything other than throw off the rhythm, but uh, it's up to you if you want to pass the time by clapping away. Also, you can go on the cap and trip once a day, but per character. So if you want to go more than once, just start more characters in your town, and it's a way to get more trips each day without having to resort to time travel. And that's what I did here. I had recorded footage of my uh, main character on the boat, and then I actually got the Springtime Island on my secondary character. So we'll be taking a look at that in just a second here. One of the first things you'll notice when you pull up to the Springtime Island is all the beautiful cherry trees, but also that there's no dock. Uh, so you can't do pier fishing, as far as I know, on any of the Cap'n Islands, because there's just no pier. Like on the airport Nook Miles Islands, uh, Cap'n will sell you tools for Nook Miles if you happen to run out, but there's also a stump that you can craft tools, so don't worry about uh, running out of materials. You're on an island where you can get as many as you need, just about. The Cap'n Islands are fundamentally different from the other islands in a few ways. The first is that um, there's usually one money rock on each Cap'n Island, and that trees don't have a hidden furniture item in them. Um, I've been to a few islands so far, and I've never found a furniture piece inside of a tree as of yet. So the vast majority of fish I was able to catch on this island were fish that were also available in my town um, in this current season that it's in. So, I mean, there is some overlap because this is springtime island, and my island is currently in summer because it's southern hemisphere. However, there were two interesting things that I noticed. The first was that you can catch uh, fish that are out of season. I ended up catching a, a sea cucumber diving creature that uh, was not available in the season my town is in. You can tell because when you open up your encyclopedia to take a look at it, it'll have the month and the current active hours uh, grayed out. This was one of the few out-of-season things that I was able to catch on the island, but one of the other things that's interesting is that you can catch fish that are outside of the times in which they would normally appear. Uh, that happened to me at least ten different times. Here's an example. I catch a neon tetra, and then when I open up my encyclopedia to check, I see that it's outside of its spawn time range. You could tell by the little red mark on the bar so if it's within its time, it's in the yellow, and if it's anywhere else, then it's out of its time range. What's cool about Springtime Island is that it's the only way to get cherry blossoms outside of it actually being spring in your town. So they float around and you can chase them down and catch them with your bug net. Also, unlike the airport uh, Nook Miles Islands, you get a guaranteed uh, bottle on the beach every time you go to a Cap'n's Island. And on Springtime Island, you actually get one of the uh, spring cherry blossom themed uh, DIYs. 
So here I had cherry blossom trees wall, which was something that I didn't have before. So now I can catch the petals in order to make it and get the DIY all in one fell swoop. The island has some small waterfalls on it and a few rocks. If you're specifically hunting for minerals, you're better off going to one of the airport Nook Miles Islands as each island has four rocks and sometimes you get Mineral Island, which has five. The good news about visiting a Kappen Island is that it gives you a guaranteed gyroid fragment, which is the item you need in order to get a random gyroid. So you basically bring the fragment back to your town, you bury it in the ground, you water it with the watering can, and then the next day you have a random gyroid. If you haven't played the older Animal Crossing games and you're not familiar with them, uh, they basically all have a different sound and rhythm to them, and you can put them in a room that is playing music, like a KK song on your stereo, and then they'll start to make their own little music in conjunction with it. So by picking and choosing which gyroids you want to use, you can make some pretty sick sounds. And that's pretty much it for Springtime Island. Other than the unique seasonality and beauty of the island, it's pretty standard. The only thing left to do is to dive and search the seas for anything else that you might find useful or out of season. As I mentioned before, there are other islands for each season, so it's not just Springtime Island. I will post videos of the other ones as I find them. I'm really looking forward to discovering that island that they showed in the 2.0 version trailer where it had a lot of glowing plants and stuff and the ladder vines. I think that would be really cool to find for the first time. Since these Kappen Islands are part of version 2.0 update, that means that they're free and you don't have to buy the expansion that's coming out in order to play it or enjoy them. The expansion should drop around midnight tonight, actually. So if you have bought it, then you're in for a whole lot of new stuff to do and things to experience. The new paid DLC content looks a lot like Happy Home Designer used to be, but with some new touches that makes it seem more interesting. I know a lot of people who liked Happy Home Designer. I just wasn't one of them, but I'm going to buy this, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. If you're committed to just experiencing the free content, that's cool too. I also put up a video not too long ago about the basics of cooking in version 2.0, how to unlock it, how to get recipes, and all that stuff, so check it out if you're interested in any of that. And that's about all I've got. If you found any of the Amalgia videos helpful, or any of the articles on the Amalgia website interesting, uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube, it really helps us out. If you want to check out Amalgia.com, there's a link to it in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.